All right, what is up, guys? Welcome to episode four of Cohen Doze. We know you guys have been loving season one thus far, and we've loved making it. So thank you guys for all the support. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and smash that notification bell for updates on future videos. Uh, now, all that being said, there's been some controversy as of late in the comments, um, specifically for our donut content, because uh, we are Cohen Doe's, we call ourselves Dough Boys. But in our Tim Hortons episode, we only had two donuts, one donut each. And our third episode of Starbucks, we did cake pops, not even donuts. So today we got a special episode lined up. Unfortunately, COVID-19 restrictions are limiting Neil and I from uh, enjoying each other's Doughboy company, uh, but that will not stop us. And today we're going to continue to deliver another episode and we're going to make up for the lack of donuts by doing a sort of challenge. Neil, can you, uh, can you explain to us what we might be doing? All right. All right, guys. So today we got a special COVID dose challenge. So as Joshua said, recently we haven't really been living up to our name, our Doughboy name. We haven't been eating enough donuts. There's been a bit of controversy in regards to cake pops. So both me and Joshua actually got half a dozen donuts from Tim Hortons. And the challenge today is how fast can we eat them, right? We're going to be checking to see which Doughboy is the superior fast eater and who can scarf down half a dozen donuts the fastest. And for our drink, we got a black iced coffee from Tim's. You know, nothing else, no water. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I, I was telling Joshua that I think I'm going to be the faster eater. He disagrees. I think I think I'm going to beat you here, Neil. I, I don't know. I'm not even sure if Josh is coming in here with a game plan. I, I know I did. I didn't eat breakfast. I didn't eat breakfast either. Actually, okay. I didn't even eat supper last night. You didn't eat supper? See, that's Joshua, that's taking that's it too far. Your stomach. That's a lot of <laughs> but I didn't eat any breakfast today. I didn't drink any water. Did you get hydrated? So, I'm, so you're... Joshua, you're telling me your stomach isn't primed, primed for, for, for performance. <laughs> it's empty and it's aching for some doughs right now, okay? <laughs> um, so, like Neil said, we're going to see who can eat it in the fastest time. Only thing we can wash it down with are black iced coffees. Um, we'll give some first impressions on the donuts before we eat them. And then after we each finish our time, we'll... We'll give a review of each specific donut. So, uh, Neil, why don't we uh, see what kind of donuts you're working with today? No, we, we went random assorted donuts. So we didn't have any choice in the donut selection. Yeah. So I went over to the, the nice Kearney Lake Tim's down the road from me. And I got these donuts early in the morning. And I got, I, I'd say I got a pretty nice assortment going in here, Josh. I'm feeling confident. So obviously we got our classic Boston cream in the corner there. And next to it, we got a nice honey dip donut. Personally, I think the honey dip is really good because it's nice and soft, nice and doughy. Nothing too, too thick, you know? So I, I think I'm going to be able to scarf that one down pretty quick. Then we got a chocolate glazed. And in contrast to the honey dip donut, that one's a bit more dense. That's true. It is a denser donut. It's a bit, bit denser. So I'm a bit scared about that one, honestly. But then we got a nice honey cooler, and I think that's going to be by far the fastest. Because honey coolers, if you guys have oh. ever had one, the right. expectation is just how light and soft they are, right? So well, let's not let's not dive too much into the uh, <laughs> the aspects of the donut. You know, these are these are mainly predictions. Yeah. Obviously, once I get in here, it might take me four minutes to eat one. You know, like um, donuts are like snowflakes. Yeah, everyone's unique. Exactly. And then we got the classic sprinkled and then we got this coconut one i'm not i'm not necessarily sure what it's called but it's you know coconut feels a bit thick kind of like a chocolate glaze but yeah don't, don't know what to expect of that one but that's a bit of a new one and right, now take it away joshua let's see what they got you so unfortunately i didn't get as good of a selection as neil did um you know but not bad so we're starting off you know, honey cruller, same as Neil. That's pretty good. Chocolate dip, you know, classic. Apple fritter is actually not too bad. Boston cream, which I had already reviewed. Sour cream glaze, but they gave me a goddamn 
plain. Oh, dishes. disgusting! Ew. So gross. Maybe open for some for some powdered jelly filled or sprinkled oh. like Neil got, but you know we'll. But see. Joshua, if you had a nice black coffee to go on with that, to go with that old fashioned, who you know it might slap. Could slap, but Could it, that's slap. not the case right now. However, it's going to be mixed in a whirlwind of five other donuts and a bunch of black ice. Yeah. Before we start, you know, start this challenge, Joshua, what do you think your time's going to be? What are you aiming for? Like, that's a tough one. I'm, I'm not sure if you've done a lot of food challenges in the past. Personally, this might be my first one. I think this is my first one too. I'm going to aim for 10 minutes. 10 minutes? You think it's going to take you that long? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm what saying you... I'm saying four minutes. Four minutes? I think two to four minutes. <laughs> right. Okay. Like, I don't know. Six donuts? Like four minutes. How, what is that? 45 seconds of donut? Is that right? <laughs> Around that much? Yeah, a, a bit a bit less than that. A bit yeah. less than 45 seconds of dough. Actually, you're right. You're right. That's light work. <laughs> All right. How are we going to decide who goes first, Neil? We've decided that we're going to be doing a coin toss to decide who goes second. <laughs> That's how we decide who goes first. <laughs> so, Neil, are you heads or tails? I want tails. Neil always gets the tail. Okay, and I'll uh, I'll be heads. So, you know, give a, this is a standard Canadian quarter. All right, let's see. Tail. Okay, so I go second. <laughs> You go second. So I get right. to go second. So. All right. So uh, here, you know what, Neil? I think I'm going to take a sip of the coffee, prime myself a little bit, prime the gullet. Okay. A quick thought on I'll that. And then I'll, I'll start off. So I got the large black iced coffee. Nothing fancy. Our, our typical black coffee for the Doughboys. Pretty good. Pretty watery. Watery. Definitely watery. Um, <laughs> watery, but honestly, that's kind of what I want for this kind of uh, situation. So I'm just going to attack once we start. Neil's going to stop the time as soon as my last bite is over. All right. All right, Joshua, you ready for your turn? Yeah. All right, I'm going to count down from five. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. He's starting off with the old fashioned, I think. <laughs> Trying to get that one out of the way before he gets to the rest of his sentence. Halfway. Halfway there. Chocolate Two dip. minutes. Two minutes. Apple fair was the hardest. I told you that one was gonna be a rough one. <laughs> Alright Joshua, you're going for the sub four minutes here. You're on pace. Sour cream. Oh, hitting the wall. Hitting the wall. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, 
Thirty no, seconds. Back. Sub four. Sub four. <laughs> sub, sub four. Ten seconds, Joshua. The fucking fritter got me hard. Let's see. The fritter got... We're done. Yeah? Joshua is done, and he managed to get a sub four minutes. Sub four minutes? <laughs> Did you see how fast I attacked that last one? Yeah, you fucking mucked that shit. <laughs> you mad mucked. You're, you're actually going to have an easy as fuck time. I told you, man, that apple fritter is um deadly. Dude, I can't believe I just did that. All right. All right, so now that I'm uh, in pain and agony. Um, Not going to lie, I feel burp coming, but, like, I haven't even started yet. <laughs> oh, get ready, Neil. You're going to have a great time. Yeah, now it's uh, time for Neil's turn. Neil, how are you feeling? Fucking terrified, man. <laughs> like, this is scary. It is scary. It feels so good having done it now. <laughs> Why did I pick second? <laughs> <laughs> start with the sprinkles. I started yeah. old fashioned. You're gonna start with the sprinkles. All right, Neil. Yep. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Neil's calm. He's collected. Two bite donut, done. <laughs> Boston cream neck. He was going for more sips on the coffee. I think that might be a smarter idea, to be honest. Two done. Neil's hitting something. Neil's encountering something. Oh no. Neil, you got this. Stay strong. It's okay, Neil. Pace yourself. Neil's going for the chocolate blade now. Denser donut he was anticipating. I wonder if he's feeling that right now. Going straight down with that coffee. I think that's smart. Light work here. Light work here on out. The bites are not it. The what? Big bites, hard hit. All right, Neil, you got it. Slow and steady, honey dip. Honey dip, is this a honey dip? Mm -hmm. Neil's, uh, one of Neil's anticipated great donuts. All right, Neil, 315. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Neil, it's not looking too good. <laughs> it's not looking good. Shut up. Fuck. 
All right, we lost, we lost Neil. You gotta keep going as fast as you can. Destroy it, cool it. Destroy it. He went for the pull apart technique. Mm-hmm. Well, I've done that earlier. Yeah, save the mouth having to do the work. I should have been eating with one hand. I mean, eating with my mouth and then eating my other donut with my other hand by crushing it. <laughs> yeah, how many, how many, is this your last one? Oh, come on. Oh, Neil. Come on, dude. You gotta pick up the pace. Sub five? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Save the coconut. <laughs> Save the coconut for last. <laughs> no. All right, you can't save the coconut for last. All right, come on, Neil. Sub six. Let's get sub six. This is what I thought would be hardest, too. Why'd you save it for last? I don't know, man. <laughs> Sub six, Neil, come on! The mouth is full. Sub six, Neil, come on! It ain't it. <laughs> That's okay. So I could fit it in my mouth, but... There's no way I'm swallowing it. All right, let's get sub 6.30. Come on, wash it down. Show us a clean mouth. Come on, Neil. Okay, we're not sub 6.30. Sub 6.45. disappointed with my performance man i thought going second you would have had like a uh, more ambition because you had that time to try to like, that that's what i thought too joshua that why that's why i wanted second but the, you know what the problem was i think like you said i had a bit of ambition right but yeah. i think i had a bit too much ambition and that was my downfall trying to two bite the at the Boston cream yeah like, I think you also chose the wrong donuts. You go, you go hard first, because then I had I had at the end I left I left the honey cruller for me to just demolish back in ten seconds. You know, I also I didn't I barely drank any iced coffee. I don't know. Like, I, you know how much coffee you had? I had a lot. I was trying to I was trying to wash it down and like open up my throat. But the problem was, I kept my mouth full. The, I, there is something in my mouth the entire time because I always felt like I needed to keep eating. But I think the problem with that is I never had a time. I never had the time to breathe. You know, I never had the time yeah. to just like reset my mouth. I think I had more, some more reset times in there. No. I, I, yeah, exactly. And I had zero reset times. And I think that's what burnt me out. I tried to go for a sprint during a marathon, you know, yeah. Right. And I'm sad to admit it, but looks like you're the king of speed. <laughs> the speed was the billboard. Uh, I raid supreme. All right. It's all in fun and games. Okay, uh, for, for all you doe brothers and doe sisters and doe fathers and doe mothers, try this challenge at home. Send us in your time, a recording of you doing it. Whoever gets the fastest time will be featured on a future episode of Cohen Does. And you'll also get a shout out. And, and a shout out. Yeah. Because oh, I'm telling you guys, as much as we complained about this, it's been a ton of fun. Yeah. And it really lets you see, it makes it so impressive that some people can eat shit like this so fast. Some people go crazy. Like, God. Like, it, it, is, it is an impressive an impressive challenge and I think it's something that more or less anybody could do.
makes you not want to eat donuts. But, <laughs> but honestly, I'm not feeling too, too bad right now. You feel way worse when you're getting to that fifth and sixth donut. Because yeah. now after like a minute or two of just like sitting around, I, I feel like normal again. I can go upstairs and eat lunch. Yeah. But this, when I was on my fifth and sixth donut, I was like, I'm never eating a donut again. <laughs> and all the sugar just hitting you in the different, yeah. like chocolate or the glaze. And it's like, oh, 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 it just keeps hitting you down. No, no. But trust me, guys, if if you're doing this challenge and you're not feeling so hot, like, there's, there's no shame in stopping. But just know that it really so isn't that bad. Who, who lost? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, there is shame in stopping. Be a sub four dough boy like me and reign supreme. <laughs> I one of you please be Joshua score. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see one of you guys beat my yeah, beat team. his That's time, cool. please. Please. All right, next next ice coffee drinking competition. <laughs> Dude, that sounds horrible. <laughs> Ten ice coffees. Yeah. Okay, so uh on to the ratings for each donut. Um so I guess I'll try to go back and do the order that I ate them. I think I can remember. Uh, first was plain. I had the old fashioned, old fashioned donut, and it was very bad, very underwhelming, dry, not fresh. It was it was a tough first donut to get down. As soon as I been into that, I I was scared for the competition, thinking, oh god, there's no way I can do this. It didn't pair well with the iced coffee. Um, it made me scared about the whole experience, and I did not like it. It gets a 0.5 doughs out of five doughs. That's the plane. Damn shame. Um, next, I think I did Boston Cream, which was the donut that I reviewed in our initial first episode, our, our, uh, our pilot of, of Cohen Doughs. And, uh, you know, it actually held up. Um, it went well with the coffee. It was a nice change right after the plane. I was able to get it down. You know, the, the cream was a little hard to eat fast, but I liked it overall. Um, it was fresher this time. It was pretty good. It's going to get a three and a half dose out of five dose for that. Um, next, I think I did the apple fritter, which was... <laughs> That was, your, that was when I smashed into a wall for sure. Um, the apple flavor after the plane and the Boston cream did not work. It was so dense and so hard to get down. Um, I had to drink the coffee. The flavor was bad. If I had ever had any point of like maybe gagging during the competition, it was during the apple fritter, um, which is funny because I've had apple fritters in the past just on their own and they're pretty good. But in the context of this challenge, it, it, it did not facilitate the me doing well on the challenge and it was the flavor didn't work with everything else but it, it was good it was it was well glazed like everything it's tough I can see why an apple fritter might be might be a challenge for something like this because I think of an apple fritter as like I think of that as like a hefty donut like if I want a donut that's like pretty big I usually go with an apple fritter yeah. I'm not going with a honey cooler. If I want something light, I'm going with something like a honey cooler. But, you know, I'm sure you'll be talking about that specific dough yeah. in a minute. Yeah, the apple fritter just wasn't it for me today. So, but, it, it, you know, you know, for that, it's going to get one. It's going to get one out of five doughs. I'm, I'm taking it down to one. It just did not work for me. Uh, next, I did the chocolate dip, uh, which was actually pretty good. Uh, decent contrast to the... The, what I didn't like about the apple fritter. Um, you know, it, it, nothing to write home about. Um, that's the one Neil reviewed in the first episode. You know, it's the classic. It's the Boston cream chocolate dip, the two classics, dude. Um, and never they can never be topped. Um, so that one's getting a three and a half out of five does. Pretty good, solid. On to the stars of the show for me, which were the sour cream glaze and the honey cruller. I saved these for the end because I knew they were going to be easy ones to smack down and, and do the final home run sprint, you know? Um, so the sour cream I had, really good, pretty dense. Like, it was – the flavor was good. It was just a little too dense, I think. Um, but flavor was really good. 
Uh, went down pretty easy. It was great in contrast to the other ones. Um, four does out of five does. And then the final one, uh, the honey crueler. Uh, that was friggin' delicious. But that was the one I ate last, and it just went down so fast. And it, I actually really liked it. And this was after eating five donuts and gagging on an apple fritter. Like, it's gonna get four and a half. Four and a half for me. All right. Yeah. So those are my ratings. So. And the first dough I started off with was the vanilla dip with sprinkles, right? Yeah. And it's really what you'd expect. It's just, you know, a classic donut. It's nothing too crazy. It, like, it tasted all right. Like, it's nothing that's going to blow you away, but it's also nothing that's go ever going to really disappoint you. I think of it as just, like, the standard donut, you know? Like, a vanilla dip donut is the standard donut. And because of that, the rating I'm going to give it is actually a 2.5 out of 5, just, you know, right in the middle. 2.5. Yeah, I think it's a it's it's a good donut. It's just nothing that's gonna blow you out of the water, and it's also nothing you're ever gonna be super disappointed with. Just a solid standard dough. And then after that, I decided to tackle the Boston cream. And I know Joshua said that you know just because of the cream, it made it a bit harder to eat fast. And yeah, I, I can see why he'd think that. And I think I, that was one of my slower donuts, if I remember. But that's because I, I think I went in the wrong direction there. Because I tried to two-bite that donut. But I think if I took smaller bites when trying to tackle that Boston cream, I would have been able to eat it a, like way faster. Just because the cream actually gives you a bit of moisture in compared to every other donut I fucking ate. <laughs> Because some of these donuts, I'm telling you, were dry as fuck, man. And I'll be getting to that. But that that Boston cream, that 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 cream was a lifeline. That that moisture. And in a challenge like this, like get you one of those and put it closer to the middle, not near the beginning. Because I think that could be a really good refresher, just a just a tip for me. And because of that, I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of five. And usually I wouldn't rate a Boston cream that highly. Damn. But in, but in the context of this challenge, I was pleasantly surprised because I really thought it was going to be one of the harder ones. But despite it, despite it being a bit slow, I it was one of the more pleasant experiences I've had today with donuts. Nice. But yeah. And then after that, I hopped on over the chocolate glazed. Yeah. And the chocolate glazed, I'm not going to lie, that shit was dry as fuck. It was... Yeah. <laughs> it was it, well, it wasn't super thick or anything, but after go jumping from the Boston cream and eating that and then going to this one, it just was not, I, I did not enjoy it. Usually a chocolate glaze is something that I would enjoy. Not Definitely not one of my favorites, but today it just wasn't hidden, right? It just wasn't hidden. So for that, I actually give it a two out of five. Dang. And then after that, I hopped over to a, a classic a nice honey dipped and honey dipped is one of the one of those donuts that i think me and josh agree that it's a bit underrated in the donut community it is it's a little bit underrated people don't talk about honey dip but honey dipped if you want a nice doughy donut it, it's it's there it is one of the best because it's got that nice flavor it's not overly sweet and it's just got that classic donut texture that you're looking for you know it's nice and soft right. but not too soft because if you wanted a softer donut there's another option and i'll be getting to that but yeah the honey dipped it was that was just good as fuck it was super solid donut of oh, i'm gonna give it a four out of five nice yeah and then we got the one if you're looking for if you were gonna do this challenge and you wanted to eat six donuts and you wanted to do it with the fastest time possible you're going to be getting yourself six honey crullers. Because that shit, it's, it's so soft. It's so easy. It melts in your mouth. You barely have to chew it. I know I was joking around before, but honestly, if I didn't want to chew, I could just crush it up in my hands and put it in my mouth. That's how soft that donut is. And goddamn, it tasted amazing. It's it always tastes good. But in a challenge like this, when you've been eating, you know, some of the thicker donuts and just you're kind of, you're a bit sick of just having your mouth full of dough. The honey cooler, the way it melts in your mouth, is so refreshing. 
It's so good. It is good. So yeah, I'm gonna give that honey cooler a five out of five. Fucking five bomb. out of five. Yeah, that shit was fucking bomb. It was good. <laughs> That's the first five for you. No, yeah, it's it, like I'm I'm talking about the context of the challenge and just in general. Like honey coolers are just a fucking solid ass donut. It was so good. And after eating four donuts previously and then jumping on that honey cooler, it's like heaven. <laughs> You're right. In contrast, it holds up even with all those other donuts. I think that's really exactly. Good. And it's always it's just a nice, it's, got a, it's just got a nice flavor profile. It's just nice and sweet. Like it's it doesn't taste like honey, fuck no, but it tastes like sugar, and that's pretty good. Yeah. Like, and then, you know, but when honey coolers heaven, you have hell. And that fucking coconut donut was dog shit. It tasted like dog water. Don't get that shit. I, I, I like coconut flavored stuff, but I barely tasted the coconut there. It was just like, it was insulting. It tasted like a normal chocolate donut with like a hint of coconut. But like you, the smell of coconut was much more than the taste. So I'm, I'm eating this thing, right? And I'm, I know I'm stuffing my mouth like a pig or whatever. But let me tell you, this thing was an insult to coconut flavor. Damn. Shit, like, it was just a garbage donut. It was dry as fuck. Like, I don't know how long they've had these donuts out. It's the, it's the morning right now, and all my other donuts are pretty good. But this one was just shit. Like, it was just a bad, bad donut. Maybe it was because it was my last one. But, wow. <laughs> like, just, I just thought it was a really shit donut. There's nothing else to say. An insult to flavor. An insult to donuts. And especially where, because you had the honey gruel right before, and that still held up. That just got a five out of five. Like I, I'm telling you, man, it just go. Maybe it's because the honey cooler did something with my palate, fucked it up, made me think the donut, like all the last donut was gonna be good. Yeah. But no, maybe it was just a comparison. Maybe that one was just an average donut, but compared to this godly fucking honey cooler right before, it was just shit. It was dog shit. And so yeah, really, I'm gonna give it a one out of five. <laughs> I hated it. That donut was fucking shit, man. Made me sad. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, Neil, for those uh, those ratings. So you heard it here for all those does. Uh, now it is in context of the speed run dough race challenge. You know, it, it's 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 a different game when you're just having one donut at a time. But send us in you guys doing the challenge as well. Um, Neil, also iced coffee. How did that go? Well, with the uh, let's give it a rating in context of the the challenge. Well, just because of the, the nature of this challenge, when I was drinking my iced coffee during it, it was a bit watered down, which I didn't, like you said, it wasn't really the worst thing ever because it helped kind of push everything down. But I kind of wish, like, I had a bit of a stronger flavor. If I, if I, if I expected this, I probably would have gotten a shot or two of espresso in this just because yeah. I feel like the nice bitter taste could have been a nice contrast to the overload of sweetness halfway through the challenge. So if I had a more bitter, less watery iced coffee, then I probably would have maybe even enjoyed my ladder donuts a bit more. I know I already give the honey cooler a five out of five and McDonald's could have gotten better, I guess. True. You could have but, broke the scale. Yeah, I could have broken the scale and maybe that last donut wouldn't have been absolute dog shit. But <laughs> how many uh, coffee cups out of five coffee cups for the, the iced coffee? The, co the co iced coffee, it's just your standard Tim's iced coffee. It's just a solid iced coffee. Like, really, I'd give it a 2.5 or 2.5 3. Out of five. Like, yeah, 2.5 or 3, probably 2.5. Just pretty standard stuff. Nothing that's really going to blow you away. But, you know, it's there. It's not bad. You know, I think I agree. I'm going to bump mine up to a 3. I think in the context of the challenge, it really worked. I didn't have to use it a whole lot either. I think I used it just enough to help push down stuff where I needed it to. Um, the flavor is good, watery. Like I said, going in, I think that's that was a desirable aspect in this case. Um, you know, pretty good. I'm still enjoying it right now. Most of the ice has melted now. Yeah, I finished mine. <laughs> um, three out of five for me. So, Neil, uh, in terms of the challenge, what are you rating this challenge? Oh, this is, I, I thought this challenge was a lot of fun. I'm rating it a five out of five. I think all of y'all should try it. It'll five teach five doughy boys for this challenge. Fuck yeah. Like everybody should do it. You you learn a lot about your limits as an individual. And that's five always good. Five. <laughs> five out of five for me too. This is this is where uh, you know you find out who you really are inside. Yeah, you find out how much heart you have. And today, 
Joshua had a bit more heart than me. Had a bit more. But, but, but I'm excited to see how much heart the rest of you guys have. Yeah. Show me. Show, show me that you can beat Joshua. Please. Don't, I want I want to be de decrowned, dethroned as the, yeah. the speed doughboy king. Uh, yeah, don't don't let him be the king. Yeah. So please, guys, send us in. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And please make sure, like, comment, subscribe, share to your friends, share to your family. Uh, we've got Doe do parents out there watching. Uh, we love you guys. Everybody, <laughs> thank you so much for watching so far. Um, hopefully, we'll be back in person uh, for future episodes um, and finishing up season one shortly before we kick it off strong with season two. All right. Any thoughts, Neil? No, that's really it. I'm, I'm excited to finish the season. I'm excited to, you know, finally get back once we're done with this lockdown, doing these episodes in person. And I'm excited for season two of Cohen Dose because I know, I know we still have the finale to go through here, but I know there's a lot of surprises and I, that I think you guys are really going to like. Some twists and turns for sure. Yeah. And All also right. the, the future um, Cohen Dose Speed King is going to be featured yeah. in our episode. It's King or Queen, sorry. King or Queen, yeah. King or Queen. Yep. You're yeah, right. It's, it's going to be cool. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. See ya.